Hello everybody, Vince here from Hudson Bonsai and today I'm just going to be doing a little bit of deadheading on this purple gem rhododendron. It's a pretty cool little shrub. Uh, this thing is just a, you can see from the yellow tag, this was a clearance nursery tree and it, it is pretty neat. I mean, uh, somewhere there's got to be like there's an open flower right there and you can see it's barely bigger than my than my fingernail a single flower and this tree actually started blooming i would say two to three weeks ago and there's already quite a few on here maybe i'll get a, a close-up quick If I can get one of these spent flowers in here. So here they are, and you can see the tiny little ovary there. So they need to be removed just to promote better growth and better flowering next year because you don't want this thing wasting energy trying to produce seeds. So that's deadheading. And you, you can see this tree is already starting to push foliar growth now. And it's just continuing to flower. So I don't know how long the uh, the flowering period is going to be, but I would say that's a you know pretty long time for something to be flowering. The leaves are really small, the flowers are really small. Uh, I really don't know much about how well they handle pruning, but uh, I'm assuming it's probably fairly well. Um, I don't know, I haven't done much with this tree yet. I've never worked with these before. So I don't know how fantastic of a bonsai I'll make, but like I say, the, the flowering cycle is pretty impressive and the flowers themselves are just incredibly tiny. And they grow in these big clusters. So I do do a lot of work with uh, azaleas, but this type of rhododendron, I, like I said, I've, I don't really have much experience with. But I've been really impressed by this one. This one was actually purchased by someone and given to me. I really like it. So like I said, I'm just deadheading this the uh, same way I would any of my azaleas. So this is the first, this is the first tree I've had to deadhead this year. And like I said, this thing is not anywhere near done flowering up. So I'll be coming back to this tree a few times. I just don't want to, I don't like to leave 
the ovaries on there very long. You know, I've, I usually don't like to deadhead more than once on the same tree, but it kind of seems unavoidable on this one because I, I really don't want to cut off unbloomed flowers. You know, I don't mind cutting off some flowers that are still in bloom. Plus, I'm really curious as to, you know, how long, how many weeks this thing is going to flower for. And I'll see if it's the same. I, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they balance out if they're regularly deadheaded. I, I really don't know. that really it? Yeah. And there's definitely a few... Eh, here's a flower that's pretty well wilted. I don't mind removing this. There's one in there that hasn't opened yet. Yeah, I think that's going to be the extent of it. Uh, there's quite a bit of cleanup pruning I could do on this. Like I said, I've never, this is the first time I've actually handled this tree. So it's really just a raw piece of nursery stock. definitely quite a bit of just clutter old interior growth that's died off and there's definitely a few individuals in this in this pot and at first I kind of had the idea that maybe it was the two individuals that were flowering at different times, but that, that's not the case. It's, you know, there's a, a little bit of each in there. Here's one of those tiny little flowers. Anyway, that's really all I'm gonna do to this tree. Uh, I'll clean it up better when I actually go to repot it or maybe if I decide I want to prune it a little bit post flowering. Uh, I don't really anticipate that. I might maybe a little structural pruning, but this tree has got a ways to go before I really start turning it into a bonsai. It's just going to go in the grow out section of the garden and, you know, like I said, I'll deadhead it and I'll, you know, try to clean it up from time to time, but otherwise it's just going to kind of be left to grow wild. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.